said, you want to come directly to the Grand Canal Venice Mall? I said that in the correct order. You go on the second floor from the last building, which is the Alessandro building. And uh, you're like a three to four minute walk, not even directly connected to the mall. So that's also super convenient. What's up guys, so we're in the Venice Luxury Residences in the Bellini Tower, I think it's called, right? The Bellini Tower. So this place is fully furnished, except it doesn't have a washer or dryer. It does have a balcony. It's a studio type apartment, pretty spacious. Asking right now is 40,000 pesos per month. It's in BGC Tagui, includes parking, very close to the Grand Canal Venice Mall, which is very nice within walking distance on 40 square meters, which is roughly 420 to 430 ish square feet, I think.
What's up guys? So this is a one bedroom with a large balcony, about 60 square meters, about 630 to 640 square feet. I believe it has no parking in this case, one bathroom, asking price 50,000 pesos a month, comes fully furnished, has a split AC unit out here in the living room, LG, which is great. It has an LG refrigerator, Samsung washer, but no dryer. And uh, the balcony is really nice and it has a view of either Laguna Bay or another man-made lake or natural lake. I'll have to research it and you can correct me if you happen to saw the shot where I was out there in the balcony. I know the camera was in wide lens so it might be a little hard to see but there was a really nice view of the mountains over there and also a lake. So that's definitely beautiful. It's situated again right in Taguig and BGC. Pretty close to a lot of the major BGC places that you would want to go. And one of those being the Grand Canal Mall again very very close within walking distance so yeah. Very interesting condo, great asking price for the fact for its size and the fact that it's fully furnished and the fact it's a good location, but uh, yeah. If you want to come directly to the Grand Canal Venice Mall, if I said that in the correct order, you go on the second floor from the last building, which is the Alessandro building, and uh, you're like a three to four minute walk, not even directly connected to the mall. So that's also super convenient. Hi. <laughs>
Okay guys, so for this unit is 66 square meters. It's a one bedroom. It has one split AC unit and it has one windowsill unit. It comes with a washer, but not a dryer. Very nice balcony. This unit has personally definitely been pretty well maintained by the unit owner asking was 55,000 pesos per month. Does this one include parking? No parking in this one. Yeah, this is one of the, my favorite one that we looked at so far for today, just because it's big, has a nice view and it's clean and smells great. And uh, overall the furnishings are really nice. It's fully furnished. So uh, yeah, the flooring also looked really good. I'm not sure if they upgraded that or not. I don't know how close I was paying attention. Compared to the other units that you saw or will see today in this vlog, very nice. What's up guys, just to do a quick recap of today's video. So it's so important to follow the basic rule of thumb or advice that not to judge a entire building or condominium complex based off of reviewing or seeing one unit or one elevator or one hallway. Because today I saw three units uh, within the same com condominium complex. I think it was across two different buildings. Yeah, so the Venice luxury residences, overall they are nice. They're built by Mega World and uh, I think they started the construction in 2014, but I'll double check that. And um, yeah, so it's you can get a very nice unit there. You just have to look through and make sure it's just the same rule of thumb. I hope today's video was entertaining and informative. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now. Our